Welcome to this series dedicated to cell biology. Today, we will dive into the fascinating topic of the cytoskeleton. We kindly invite you to subscribe to our channel and take a look at our Instagram page. Inside the cell, various components perform specific functions, but the central element filling the space between these structures is the cytoplasm. Often described as a gel-like substance, the cytoplasm is primarily composed of water and contains numerous organic and inorganic molecules. The cytoplasm is divided into two main parts, the morphoplasm and the hyaloplasm. The morphoplasm corresponds to the organelles within the cytoplasm, such as the nucleus, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, and others dot into two main parts, the morphoplasm and the hyaloplasm. The hyaloplasm consists of two subparts, the cytosol, which is the aqueous solution in which the organelles are suspended. It has a neutral pH and contains soluble molecules. The cytoskeleton represents a network of protein filaments that maintains the cell's structure and enables intracellular transport. This image illustrates the complexity and structured organization of the cytoskeleton, visually demonstrating its role in supporting the cell. The cytoskeleton is described as a filamentous support structure, forming a true intracellular skeleton that spans the entire cytosol. It is a dynamic system, constantly assembling and disassembling. This property is crucial for enabling various cellular processes, such as cell division and intracellular transport. Here, we can observe how the cytoskeletal filaments interact to form a complex network within the cell. They are connected to the plasma membrane and other organelles, such as the mitochondria, highlighting their integral role within the cell. The three main components of the cytoskeleton are, intermediate filaments, microtubules, and actin microfilaments. Let's explore the location and structure of each type of filament. Let's take the example of epithelial cells. The intermediate filaments, depicted in blue, are located throughout the cytoplasm. These filaments are more evenly distributed and surround the nucleus. Their diameter is 10 nanometers. The microtubules, represented by green lines and with a diameter of 25 nanometers, radiate outward from the center of the cell, typically near the nucleus, and extend towards the cell membrane. As for the actin microfilaments, they are primarily located in the apical region of the cells, just beneath the microvilli, structures that increase the cell's absorption surface. They have a diameter of 7 nanometers. Structurally, the basic subunit of microtubules is tubulin, represented by yellow and green spheres in the image. Microtubules are formed by the assembly of alpha and beta tubulin dimers, which organize into a hollow tube. The actin microfilaments are composed of actin subunits, shown as small blue spheres. Unlike microtubules and actin microfilaments, intermediate filaments are not made up of globular subunits but rather of elongated fibrous proteins that coil together to form resistant structures. The next video will focus on actin microfilaments. We will explore in detail their structure and roles. Thank you for following this lesson and see you soon.